If you think that you are too old to start up an exercise program, then the exact opposite is true. You are too old to not start an exercise program. At the end of the day, we are all meeting the same fate. We all have an expiration date. There's nothing you can do to stop that. And honestly, there's nothing we can do to stop when our time's up, okay? When God's calling us home, he's calling us home. But you can, however, improve your lot in life while you're here on this planet, and you should, all right? This particular body, it's basically, and the way I look at it, okay, hopefully I'm not saying something blasphemous, but our body is basically a carrying case for our souls, okay? That's how I look at it. I don't necessarily think that you have to walk around, you know, 5% body fat looking like, you know, a Fitzbo model all the time or anything like that because that's kind of hard. And not only that, if you get to the point where only thing you think about is exercise, then you're kind of missing the point. There's other facets in life, right? You've got your mind, your body, and your soul that you carry around with you no matter where you go. So you should take care of all three. But the reason why I emphasize fitness so much is because when you do take care of your fitness, everything else falls into place that much easier, all right? And think about this for a second. You take care of yourself in other ways. You shower on a regular basis, at least I hope. You brush your teeth on a regular basis, at least I hope you do. Why wouldn't you wanna take care of other facets of your health by exercising on a regular basis? It's not like it has to be something you undertake as a hobby or something that has to be fun or anything like that. It's just something you have to do. All right. And here's the other thing. The beauty about fitness itself is it doesn't have to be a lengthy process on an everyday basis. If you work out effectively, you can get things done in a relatively short period of time. And if you also take into account other things that you can do throughout the day, to make health more of a habit, then you're doing even that much better, all right? So your exercise program on a daily basis, well, let's go ahead and break this down just a little bit. If you were at the gym every single day of the week, I would tell you that you're overtraining, okay? I would venture to say you can do just fine three days a week, four days a week, in my opinion, be in the sweet spot. And you do not have to spend hours on end in the gym, all right? I know that there's so many different camps out there and there's so many different experts on the internet. Some of you, some of them will tell you you gotta do like 20 sets of body part and others will tell you that you just gotta take one set to failure, blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing. There's anecdotal evidence all around that all of those types of things work. Whether you're a high volume guy or a high intensity guy or gal, they both work, obviously. There wouldn't be people like Arnold Schwarzenegger if high volume didn't work. And there wouldn't be people like Dorian Yates if high intensity didn't work, right? So here's the thing for us as just your average Joe Schmoes out there. How much time do you actually have to put yourself in the gym? you probably don't have those two or three hours a day because you have other obligations. But you probably, if you really tried, have 35, 45 minutes to put in. And if you're using higher intensity ideas or higher high intensity programs, you have that time and you can get a very effective workout in that time frame. okay? Going off of my coach, Rob Goodwin, you have what are called feeder sets, and then you have your one set to failure on most exercises. There's some exercises that aren't exactly like that. Like a feeder set is where you're taking that exercise and you're going about 50 to 60, maybe even 70% effort on that lift, okay? And then you get to your one set that's all out failure. And that's where you take it to where you know that even if there's a gun pointed to your head, you cannot do another good rep with good form with that weight. 
you have stimulated the, you've given your muscles the stimulus it needs to grow and get stronger and then you move on, you do something else and then you rest and you take the time off to let those muscles recuperate, all right? So your muscles have to recuperate. So the high intensity, you do your work, you get it done, then you relax, you rest. And here's where the second part comes into play that no one wants to admit. You cannot outwork a horrible diet. So why, 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 why? And trust me, I am very guilty of this throughout my entire life. Why would you do all that hard work and then turn around and negate everything you just did by eating some freaking junk food, all right? So give yourself the proper nutrition to reward yourself for the hard work you've just done. What is the proper nutrition? 99% of it is eating the food that God already put here on this planet, okay? If it doesn't come from a farm, you typically do not need it, all right? Probably the only exception to the stuff that I eat on a regular basis, I'm not talking about when I indulge and have something like a you know wedding cake or something like that. Typically, the food that I ingest is coming from a farm. It's going to be whole ingredient foods. Basically, when I pick up the package and it says beef, it has beef in it, that's it. When it's broccoli, it has broccoli in it, and that's it, all right? It's basically stay out of the aisles in the grocery store and just shop along the perimeter, all right? Get your food, whole foods, and I would typically tell you to focus more so on meat, healthy fats, and mostly fibrous vegetables. I know that's like, well, Chris, what about fruit? Sparingly, definitely sparingly. And then the next part of the whole equation is making sure you're taking care of your cardio. Now, this gets a little bit more dicey, a little bit more tricky, depending upon what, you, what you're gonna do, all right? I know there's some folks out there that would rather do high intensity interval training cardio and other folks who would rather do low, in low intensity steady state cardio, much like what I'm doing right now, which is just walking. And I'm gonna tell you this, cardio sucks no matter what form you do. So while I would much rather tell you to just go outside and go for a walk as often as you possibly can, if that's something you're not going to do, I'm not gonna advise you to do that if you're one of these HIT people. I don't have anything bad to say about HIT, but for me and my goals, it does not work for me. And I'm gonna tell you why. When you do a HIT session, you're really expending some energy that you should otherwise be putting on your weightlifting, all right? And you're also taking away some of your recovery ability by doing that hit because, well, it does lead to soreness, right? But if I tell you to go walk for 35, 45 minutes on a regular basis and you're not gonna do it, I'm not gonna tell you to do that. But if you're gonna do it, then freaking do it. Add healthy choices and add healthy habits to your regular routine as well. All right, as far as you can do. All right, right now, if you're watching this video and you're extremely overweight and I tell you to take the stairs as opposed to take the elevator and you go up two flights of stairs and now you're ready to basically get rushed to the hospital for a cardiac event, then don't do that yet. But perhaps park a little bit further away from the office and take those extra 30, 40 steps into the office. Take the baby steps until you can start taking the giant leaps. If you're not that bad off, then yes, take the stairs instead of taking the elevator. 
Now, it's depending on how many floors you got to go up. Obviously, if you got to go up 20, 30 flights of stairs and you're going to be sweating like a whore in church by the time you get up to the, your office, perhaps maybe just go up about four or five flights of stairs, then take the elevator. All right, something like that. We'll park further away from the grocery store. All right. Now, I know I've mentioned this before, and some people have told me that it's not safe for them. Uh, mainly ladies have said, I can't do that. It's not safe for me. I'm very sorry that I've never even thought about that before. So only do this next thing if it's safe for you to do so. You're at the grocery store, you're at the mall, and in those other things, park as far as way you possibly can. If the bags you're gonna carry to your car are not too excessive, carry them to your car as opposed to using the cart or depending upon where you live, the buggy. And all those things add up, all right? Our bodies are designed to be a lot more active than they really are in this sedentary world that we live in for most of us, okay? I know some of us have some very physically laborious jobs and to you guys, you don't need my advice. To those that live mostly sedentary, nine to five office jobs, you need my advice, okay? And always find a way to add a little bit of an element of suck to everything you're doing as you get better at the things you do, all right? For example, here I am taking these dogs on a walk and I'm wearing 50 pounds on, of a vest on me, which is why I'm panting as I'm trying to talk to you at the same time. All right, walking the dogs normally would do nothing for me, all right? Getting these steps in would be great as far as just getting in my steps, but as far as helping me lean out and get a little bit more of a caloric burn, absolutely not. But wearing this vest is definitely making this walk pretty difficult, and that's what I want. So, that's it in a nutshell, man. Look, you only got this one life to live on this planet. And then hopefully when God calls you home, you get to be in his kingdom. Always seek ye first the kingdom of God, right? But I believe you're obligated to take care of your body, your mind, and your soul. I don't care if you're eight or 80, you should be doing something to take care of yourself, period, all right? On that, folks, I'm going to let you go. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to check out the rest of them. Like and subscribe to the channel. Share this information with your friends. And as always, unleash your champion.